Hello everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Raven. Alright everyone, welcome back to another Magic product review where my goal is to show you guys some of the latest and greatest Magic to hit the market, let you know my thoughts, and whether or not I think it is something that you should consider adding to your act. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Raven, which is a really cool utility device that allows you to do some awesome stuff. You can make things appear, you can make things vanish, and the best part is, is you can show your hands completely empty. So for example, you can take a coin, set it down on your hand, you simply wave your hand over the coin, the coin vanishes, and you can very cleanly and very fairly show both of your hands are completely empty. And it doesn't have to be a coin, it could really be anything, the limit is honestly your imagination. We're gonna discuss what it is that you receive inside the kit, the ins and outs of everything, and all that good stuff, right after these announcements. If you have not already done so, please make sure to click the subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you guys will know every time I upload a new video. This video has been sponsored by Penguin Magic, so if you guys are looking to add some of the latest and greatest pieces of magic to your act, look no further than penguinmagic.com. And while you're there, make sure to head over and check out my live act as well. All right, so what is the Raven? As I said, it is a utility device that allows you to accomplish an insane amount of effects. It's essentially something that you're gonna wear on your body while you're out performing. The spectators are never gonna even be aware of it. This isn't something that is ever visible. This is what we like to call a hidden gimmick or a secret gimmick. Uh, something that you're gonna wear on your body to uh, enhance your magic, but is never something that the audience is even gonna be aware, is even you know in use or out in the open or any of that stuff. So let's talk about what you receive. Inside of here, I'm going to kind of show you guys the really cool packaging. The packaging for this looks sick, by the way. Uh, it says the Raven, and it's like super holographic. It's hard to, to see in the light, maybe like that. There we go. Looks really cool, right? And then, of course, P3 on the back. And uh, what you receive inside of here is the actual Raven gimmick itself, as well as uh, a couple of other little bonus things. I'll talk to you guys about those in a moment. Um, but you will receive the gimmick and you will receive an instructional link uh, to a streaming video that you guys can watch. Uh, just like all of the other Penguin Magic downloads, really easy. You type in a password, you get access to the thing, and you have it right there on the website ready to go. The tutorial itself is taught by, again, one of my favorite Magic instructors, Nick Lacapo. And it's a little bit of a younger version of Nick Lacapo, it looks like. I don't know off the top of my head when this actual tutorial was done. Um, I do know that the Raven has been out for a really long time. If I'm not mistaken, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, this version is sort of a relaunch. Uh, they added a bunch of cool stuff to it. The gimmick itself functions pretty much the same way, but they've added some really cool material to it. I remember this trailer dropping, I don't know, a few years back. 2016 2017 something like that and getting really excited about it not too long ago penguin sent me a care package with a bunch of really cool stuff and the raven was one of the things and i've never really taken the time to sit down and learn this i've known about it for like ever like since it first came out since i first really seriously got into magic at least since 2006 uh 2007 something like that i've known about this thing so it's a really cool trick, it's a really cool utility device, and I finally got a chance to sit down and really take a look at it. So, let's talk about the actual tutorial itself. The tutorial is broken up into two sections. The first section is gonna focus primarily on what the gimmick is, what it does, how to set it up, uh, multiple different ways to use it, the actual execution, how you retrieve items, how you vanish items, all of that stuff. You learn all of that in the first video. Then the second video is a collection of routining ideas to kind of get you started using the gimmick. Now I say get you started because really there is an endless amount of possibilities with this. I mean, you can do uh, appearances, vanishes, transpositions, transformations. You can tear up a card and restore it. You can do build changes. Uh, you can, you know, do like like tearing, tearing up a, a paper or a bill or a card and wave your hand over it and the, and the object restores. Um, you can take like what, one candy bar and change it into another one. I mean, really, the, the, the limit is your imagination. 
So let's talk a little bit now about, um, you know, the questions surrounding this gimmick. There's a lot of questions that come up in Magic, like first of all, uh, can this be performed surrounded? Um, it really cannot be performed surrounded. It is angle sensitive. So for example, if I place an object in this hand and I wave this hand over the object to make it vanish, uh, you can't be standing over this shoulder. Like I can't do the same vanish from over here because then you will completely see what's going on because you're going to have an object hidden behind your hand, of course, as you're doing the move, right? So it is angle sensitive. Um, there are ways to play with the angles. And again, they cover all of this stuff in the tutorial. Nick does a really good job of really getting down and explaining the inner workings of the trick. That's one thing that I really love about uh, not only Penguin's products, but Nick's teaching style uh, specifically. He doesn't just teach you like, okay, this is it. You do this, you do this, and then that's how the trick works, right? He actually gets in there. He gives you some performance tips. He gives you ideas on uh, how to like work your angles, how to work the room, how to approach people, all of that stuff. So you're really gonna, you're gonna spend, I think it's like 45, 50 minutes just in the first video learning how to use this before you even learn a single trick. So they really spend a lot of time with you on this. You are really getting great instruction uh, in this set. Uh, another question that's really common with this one is, uh, are there any clothing restrictions? Because again, I said this is something that you're going to wear on your body. It's going to actually be underneath your clothing when you're out performing this. So no one's going to even know that you that you have this gimmick on you uh, until you retrieve the gimmick, you do the move, and then again, you show your hands empty and they don't ever see the gimmick at all the entire time you're performing. So you obviously have to be wearing clothes of some kind. <laughs> you cannot perform this effect naked, unfortunately. Um, but let me talk about the clothing restrictions. They're not as bad as I initially thought, right? So you need to be in one of three situations. Either A, you need to be wearing some kind of shirt or jacket with long sleeves. Number two, you need to be wearing some kind of button up shirt. You can have short sleeves, but it has to be a button up shirt just like this. Or situation number three, you have to be wearing some kind of jacket. Again, it could have short sleeves or no sleeves, uh, as long as it opens in the front, uh, like a suit jacket or like a, like a zipper, zip up hoodie or something like that. So you have to be in one of those three situations. You either have long sleeves, or if you don't have long sleeves, you either have to be wearing an open jacket or a hoodie or something, uh, something that zips up in the front maybe, or you need to be wearing like a button up shirt. Uh, it could be a dress shirt or like a flannel or something. I don't know. It just has to have like the buttons uh, going down the center of the shirt just like this. So those are the three types of situations you need to be in as far as your actual dress. But that's really not a difficult situation to be in. Unless you're planning on performing in like a t-shirt and jeans, um, you're probably already going to be dressed in that situation to be able to go out and perform this. So... That's the clothing restrictions. We talked about clothing restrictions. Uh, we talked about uh, angles. Um, next thing I would probably recommend for you guys is how easy is this to perform? Um, it's not difficult necessarily, but there is a little bit of a knack to it. You do need to kind of play with it a little bit. You do need to figure out um, you know, audience management and timing and all that stuff. Um, the get ready for it um, can be a little bit awkward at first uh, to kind of play with. Um, but it is something that you just need to practice and practice, but not only practice in front of a mirror, you need to practice actually being out in the real world and performing it for people. Because it's one thing to practice it in front of the mirror, but it's another thing to get the timing down when you're actually performing it in front of live people. Now, the actual trick itself is not difficult to perform. It's practically self-working. You wave your hand over the object and you essentially just open your hand like this and the device does like 90% of the work for you. Uh, the 10% of effort that you have to put into it is very minimal and very easy to control. And again, Nick goes over all of the details, all of the troubleshooting details and all of that stuff. So I talked about you get the gimmick inside the set and you get a couple of other little bonus things. Uh, one of the bonus things is an extra piece that you can add to the gimmick so you can perform it in certain situations. And uh, the other extra thing that you get is a, uh, a coin. I don't want to talk too much about the kind of coin you get or any of that stuff, but you get a coin that works with the Raven to allow you to be able to do appearances and vanishes. Now you don't have to use that coin, but you cannot use just any coin. You have to use a specific type.
type of coin. I don't want to give too much away because uh, I don't want to completely reveal the secret of how it works. But you have to use a specific kind of coin if you want to do like coin vanishes and stuff. Um, you also have to use a specific type of really any object and that will become apparent to you when you buy uh, the product exactly what it is that I mean. You have to use a specific type of object along with all of the things that you're going to, you know, make appear or vanish. And the object that you need to add into the props that you're going to use to gimmick them is something that's so common you probably have some lying around your house and if not, very easy to find at the store. But they provide you with a coin to get started right away so you can get practicing it. Uh, practice making the coin appear and vanish and all that good stuff just to learn the trick and then like I said I recommend you dive into that second video and start learning all of the other material that they have on there okay so do I think this is something you should try definitely I'm very excited about it I do plan on doing some videos maybe some magic shorts or something for you guys uh, performing the Raven for you in a variety of different ways uh, in the future so if you guys would like to see those videos be sure to stick around and um, question of the day final thought here for you guys is do you own the Raven and if so what is your favorite piece of magic to perform using the Raven Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you'll know every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to check out some more magic, visit us at obrienmagic.com and be sure to check out our online magic shop where you will find the latest and greatest magic books, downloads, and accessories.